As you might know, KDE has had browsers before. As an example, Conquer was a pretty good one in my opinion. I've used it for a good year. And, but also Falcon, which in theory is the current KDE browser, is not very maintained, but it's a decent browser. I think that you would, uh, you, you should try it out and if you like it, you can stick with it. But there's a new one. Well, not really a new one, but on the desktop, yeah, it's very much new. It's called... Um, Angelfish. Angelfish. It's called Angelfish. And it was originally a, a browser for Plasma Mobile, so intended for phone usage, but it was given a desktop layout and we can give a look at it. And I think that it's very clean and it looks good. Of course, it's very simple yet because, I mean, it was designed for a phone and now it's being brought to the desktop, but uh, it, it already looks good in my opinion. You get tabs, uh, by default it's DuckDuckGo and we can search and if I can type anything. Uh, Anglefish, as, as I was saying, KDE uh, invent and that's where the uh, source code is. We can do new tabs. It's very slow, uh, my bad, my internet uh, for some reason kind of died, but it works. You can. Uh, as an example, Anglefish Mobile Wiki. It's not this one, is it? No, it's probably not, but um, it was the first link from DuckDuckGo. Google, uh, let's admit it, would put uh, the right link uh, first, but this one does work. Um, we can, I don't know, take up Reddit. Hold reddit.com slash r slash popular as an example. And we've got here a big plus button to actually open up new tabs if you don't like the smaller one here. You've got the home tab to get back to the home, stop loading, back and forward. You also get an hamburger menu with uh, the few important options. High story is a sidebar, which is nice, I think. Uh, on the phone, it would probably become like um, and an entire page, but on the desktop it's a separate uh, sidebar. You can search through it on, or clear it. Bookmarks, same thing, a sidebar. And as far, you can go full screen. And then it's settings, but that's about it. Uh, settings do feel very native to the um, to desktop, which is nice. Of course, on mobile, it's going to be slightly different to adapt uh, to the mobile, mobile form factor. And I think it's a really nice idea. You can see it here. So you've got this list here, and if it becomes bigger, it becomes a sidebar. So yeah, it does adapt based on your device. It's very touch oriented. So if you like touch, this is probably the best browser you can use. Of course, it's uh, based on um, Blink, Chromium, I, confu I confused those, but um, you understood what I meant. And uh, people that know about this will correct me nicely. But uh, if you use a touch screen, this is nice. Like this works just nicely. Yep. And uh, I think it's really, really nice to have a browser that actually adapts both to the mobile form factor and the desktop one. Of course, this is, I have now launched it in mobile, uh, sorry, in desktop mode, but on a mobile phone, it will actually look different. It will have a bottom bar with um, a button for tabs and tabs are going to be a different view. So. If you're interested in that, you can also try out Anglefish on a Linux phone if you happen to have one. And uh, it's really nice. I think that in general, generally speaking, the Plasma Mobile project is working on many apps that um, it's working on many apps that are uh, initially intended for like the phone, but as soon as they get on desktop, sure they don't have many features, but those features that they do have work nicely, they're touch uh, oriented. So if you have a touch screen device like I do, it's going to be much easier to use them. And they do look good too. I have nothing to complain about like UI speaking. So Anglefish, good job, like seriously good job on 
uh, working on this new layout. It's completely new. I think it, it got merged a week ago or so. So completely new stuff and it's very interesting. Falcon, let, let me actually show you Falcon as well for a reference. Uh, it's this one. And uh, of course the UI is slightly different. I personally prefer the UI of Anglefish, but Angelfish, sorry, but completely different stuff, obviously. It has way more stuff. So uh, as far as full-fledged desktop browser go, of course, uh, Falcon is more developed compared to Angelfish, which is last week. And uh, you can customize the, to the toolbars, the sidebars. Uh, again, you've got bookmarks and history as uh, similarly to Angelfish. Uh, new tabs, you can customize if you want tabs to be on the top or on the bottom. The tabs do use the look of the Q style. So with this nice blue line on the top, which is surely nice. And then you got private windows and so on. I think that all of these things should be based on like, um, I don't want to say anything wrong, but it should, uh, I think that Qt has uh, the, let me research, Qt web engine based on uh, WebKit, if I got that correctly, hopefully, I think that's it. No, not Blink, sorry, Blink was completely, completely different, WebKit. And uh, you even get like uh, separate search bars, very old school, but if it works, it works. I think that it's nice that browsers are other. Of course, personally, I use uh, Firefox, not because I dislike these projects, but uh, it's a very different thing. Like um, Firefox has a different approach and is really a different project. So if you, you mm, if you're working on Linux mobile, it really makes sense to build something like Angelfish because uh, just putting Firefox as it is now on a mobile phone, well, it just won't work. Uh, you have to use Firefox mobile, but that's for Android and Linux for phones are not Android, so it's better to have something native. Uh, as far as I know, uh, Firefox mobile is not native on Linux, as far as I know. I could be very much wrong. and. On the desktop though, what really, really helps is the fact that these projects do follow your system theme uh, better than Firefox, Chrome or uh, similar stuff. And that's a big plus if you're into those sort of things like customizing the desktop um, appearance. And personally, I do that very often. So sometimes I used to like use these kind of browsers to make sure that everything looked really good. If you need a full-fledged web browser, of course you're going to use Chromium, Firefox, because those are the full-fledged, like developed for years and years browsers. But um, there are both options depending on what you need to do. So I do think that it's very nice that somebody is working on this, especially since Angelfish is so needed on a mobile form factor. I, I, I keep trying to <laughs> resize Angel, Angelfish to try to make it mobile, but I should restart it as a mobile application. But yeah, super nice. And um, that was everything. Now let's go to the ending, which is super laggy as always, but hear me out. This should be the last video with a laggy ending because tomorrow, in theory, my new computer should ship to me and I'll have it. And by the way, on that, thank you to all who donated to me because it made me, it made uh, buying a new computer much, much easier. Like it's a big uh, amount of money for me as a student. So all people donating to me really helped me out. So thank you so much. And hopefully since tomorrow, everything is going to be snappier, higher resolution and everything. And sorry if there was lag during throughout the video, I hope not. Anyways, you not tomorrow, it's like New Year's Eve, but 1st of January or 2nd, probably 2nd of January. Bye.